What's up, y'all? In this video, I'm going to talk about embouchure on the flute. Um, in one of my previous videos, I had a comment posted about doing a lesson on that, and I really thought I'd already done it, so I, I kind of overlooked it. And clearly, I've overlooked it for, for quite a while, because that's a pretty basic thing we need to get into. I'm also going to uh, mention that this is probably going to be my last video, this type of video, for a while, because I'm hitting the road with the Christmas on the Celts tour. I'll post a link to that. If any of you guys anywhere in that vicinity want to come see a show, by all means, let me know. So I'm not going to be able to make these types of videos for a while. However, I am planning on making a bunch of stuff from the road. Sort of travel videos, just kind of show some of the behind the scenes stuff from the tour, some of the stupid stuff we get into. Certainly not all the stupid stuff we get into. But I'm also going to post a bunch of stuff on Instagram stories. So if you guys don't follow me there, uh, hit me up. It's just Whistle Tutor on Instagram. I'll link to it below. Check it out. I'll be posting stuff hopefully every day. That's my goal. So. Uh, I'll get back to YouTube as soon as I can. So here we go. Let's talk about embouchures. When I first started playing the flute, what I read early on was make like you're, uh, you're trying to say the letter P. That's the, sh the mouth shape that you're going for when you try to play it. So when I first started, I had a fairly cheap bamboo flute, um, and that's what I started with. And so you make the letter P. It works. It doesn't work great. It's not a great tone, but it's a good place to start. So kind of like you're blowing on a Coke bottle. If you make like the letter P, And that's the other thing, as you rotate the flute, you can kind of find the, the correct angle that you're looking for. Um, the goal here is to project the air on that very outside edge so that it splits, vibrates, makes noise, and away you go. To get the, the best tone that you're looking for, you have to kind of just get used to it. So hopefully the make like a P is, the, is a good first step. You can at least get a tone. The other thing I would say too is if you're having trouble just getting a tone, start with the C sharp note, all fingers off. It's just the easiest note to get, just based on the physics of the instrument. So try that. So once you get that sound, then you're trying to refine it. So and you want to get it to be as clear as possible and also use as less air as, po as little air as possible. When you're hearing that kind of windy sound, pick a different note just because I'm kind of sick of that one. So. When you're hearing a lot of that wind, that's because a lot of it's being lost. It's simply not going to the correct point on the flute where it's causing the air to vibrate. So it's less efficient. There are plenty of folks who play with more of a breathy style and that's just the sound that they like. So if that's what you like, by all means, stick with it. But to my ear, the reason I like playing this instrument is particularly the low octave where it's got that real clear bite to it. And that's where the embouchure comes in. So again, if you're starting with just a more a breathy sound, you wanna refine that. Kind of to where it starts to break. And then on the bottom note, the bottom D in particular. You can hear that real raspy buzz. That's 99% embouchure um, and 1% how the instrument was made, I think. Uh, if you don't have the embouchure right, you're never going to get that, that, that real strong bite, which is sort of trademark of this instrument, uh, as opposed to the silver flute. Now, of course, the silver flute folks, um, I'm sure is every bit as important there too. Uh, I just can't play the silver flute because of the keys and the layout is totally different, but the embouchure, if you're playing one of those, is obviously the same concept. Um, but in Irish music, again, you're, you're just trying to get that good strong bite. So the trick then to go from the airy sound is a lot, a lot stronger control. Hopefully you can see how my face changes. And you're just focusing your mouth so that the, the air goes through just the most exact spot possible, right on that edge. Now, I will say, uh, at least for me, I certainly don't get it exactly right every time. And when you switch instruments, like in this case, I'm playing the windward flute. If I switch to the McGee flute, the embouchure changes as well because they respond differently. So yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be based on what instrument you're playing and what kind of style and what kind of sound you're going for. But hopefully that's a good place to start. And it's kind of a quick and dirty video. Uh, let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, comments, um, leave them in there. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm not going to be able to make videos like this with the you know, nice handy backdrop and lighting and everything. But when we hit the road, hopefully we'll have a few laughs. So keep an eye on that. Hit me up at Instagram and uh, I'll post a bunch of stuff there too. So catch you all later, guys. Cheers.